Now, it, 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 the Republicans really have a, a squabble on their hands in Cleveland. They don't have a, a clear nominee. It can get nasty, but it doesn't always have to be that way. It's how you see how they're acting in the various delegations and working with, with each other, coaxing each other. Presidential historian Doug Weed on that process. And Doug, I was talking to my producer earlier on about how Bobby Kennedy was going through the delegations for his brother Jack. Um, because all of a sudden LBJ, who had never run in a single primary, was saying, well, you know, I might just cobble together just what I need to take this from you. And it's all about going state by state by state, isn't it? And individual by individual by individual at the convention. It's, <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. I've got a scene in my book, All the President's Children, where a breathless writer comes up to a carriage in 1852, and it's in New Hampshire, and he stops the carriage and he says, Senator Pierce, you were just nominated for President of the United States on the 49th ballot at the Democrat National Convention in Baltimore. And his wife falls over in a dead faint. So we're back. <laughs> <laughs> to some of those exciting moments. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't go to 49, but the prevailing <laughs> wisdom is that it might go to multiple ballots. It, and I guess a lot would depend on if Donald Trump, as the leader now, stays a leader now, how close he is to that 1237. The closer you are, usually the easier it is to cobble together some stray delegates here and there, uncommitted delegates. But even there, Cruz has been able to get quite a few. Um, play that out for me. What do you think? Yeah, you know, uh, Martha McCallum on this network yesterday said something very profound. She, she said, uh, uh, it seems to me there's a certain momentum in gathering the delegates at the convention itself. Yes. And nobody paid attention to that, but that is, is very, very true. There is a momentum. Uh, I'll put it to you this way. Would you rather sell 40 vacuum cleaners or have to sell 240 vacuum cleaners? And you get an idea. Uh, it, I was born in 1946, and no presidential nominee in my lifetime went into the national convention as the front runner uh, and didn't get the nomination. It's happened in the past, but not in my lifetime. So it's just a lot easier if you're 20 or 30 away than it is if you're 240 away. Unless the party has a thing against you, as Donald Trump's people claim it does with him, and that if he were even one away, they'd do everything in their power to stop him. What do you think of that? Well, yes, that's true. Yeah. But for the establishment to get to the multiple ballots, they've got to take control of the Rules Committee. And both Trump and Cruz have a vested interest, I I interest in bleeding away those delegates gotcha. from the Rules Committee. Well put. And the next thing you guys are going to talk about in the next week is the Credentials Committee. So the establishment right. not only has to own one, it has to own the other two. All right. I can't wait for that. All right, Doug, always a pleasure, my friend.